night with the light from above from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam god bless america my home sweet home god bless america my home sweet home I'm always honored to speak on behalf of the Navy, but it is especially humbling to stand here in uniform today and speak about the many American heroes that we honor on this special day. Memorial Day is born of our shared human need to understand, remember, and honor those who have died so that we may live as free men and women. The magnitude of this contribution bears repeating on this special day of remembrance. From the Revolutionary War, to the current war on terror, over 43 million men and women have served during 11 major conflicts fought by our country. During these conflicts, more than a million men and women have died, and over a million and a half have been wounded. If you ask them, they might say, I'm just an ordinary person, but I would suggest their devotion to duty was extraordinary. The military is now an all-volunteer force, representing less than 1% of the United States population. This 1% is formed from the individual commitment in times of peace, as well as in times of war. Our servicemen and women accepted the responsibility of something much greater than themselves. Their commitment, courage, and patriotism are nothing short of exemplary. In our country, we do a wonderful job of creating and building physical memorials, like the ones you see here. But instead of seeing a stone monument, on this special day, we see faces of all those who, over the years, sacrificed their lives in the defense of freedom. We see the many young men and women who perished, whether on ships in Pearl Harbor, or on the beaches of Normandy, or in Vietnam, Korea, and currently, in the sands of Iraq and the mountains of Afghanistan. Memorial Day may seem like just another day off, a reason to have a picnic or a barbecue, or the beginning of summer vacation, or maybe to open the community pool. But in recent years, a collective shift in thinking has transpired. A new awareness of the sacrifice of our military members and what they are doing overseas to defend our freedoms seems to be emerging, becoming an ingrained, ingrained part of our American experience. President Kennedy once said, a nation reveals itself not only by the men it produces, but also by the men it honors and the men it remembers. Well, today, of course, we equally honor service men and women, but that sentiment remains crystal clear. A key component of our nation's greatness lies in our ability to honor, appreciate, and cherish through our actions and our memories, all those who served and died to ensure our freedom. We often hear that freedom has a price and that each generation pays its due.
Today is our day to say thank you to those who for generations have paid that bill, who have stood the watch. And I would also say thank you to the mothers and fathers, husbands, wives, brothers, sisters, and children of those members who have fallen before us. Gathering together on this day is one way to show our appreciation and gratitude. But how do we instill and deepen the traditions of this special day for the coming generations of Americans? How do we ensure that Memorial Day continues to be observed with profound reverence, regardless of whether or not we are a nation at war? May I humbly suggest, as this current conflict continues and if others arise, our nation will continue to support our servicemen and women. Here in McKeesport and throughout the nation, we must keep Memorial Day alive by continuing to show support through the traditions that we have held for many years. To keep this day alive keeps the memories of all that have fallen alive. Continue to gather together on this special day each year to honor each of them. Keep this day as an annual reminder of the need to give of yourself in honor of those who have given everything. We must hold their actions sacred through the continued support and representation of our nation's flag display our support through the town parades, and hold memorials such as this one, honoring our loved ones, friends, and neighbors who will never be forgotten. We must encourage future generations to understand that selfless service to your country is a noble endeavor. The good we do in the world builds upon the legacy of those who gave their lives in sacrifice and service. Their sacrifices helped make this nation the great beacon of hope it is today for all who cherish liberty. Thank you for being here today to help celebrate the service of those we have lost, lost but never forgotten, and always, always revered. Aim! Fire! Aim! Fire! Aim! Fire! Aim. Fire.
Israel. 